kind of tough period at the moment. Lots of players injured, results not quite going your way. What are you kind of saying to the team just to keep that motivation up and making sure everyone's sticking together? Um, yeah, just that, that we stick together, that... Yeah, we've had a few results that haven't been exactly the way that we'd like them to go. Uh, that's obvious. But like you say, we are missing quite a large amount of very important players at the moment, important players in the squad, and it's hard for them um, as, they, they, as they get treatment and rehab. So it's really important that we stick together. Um, when, you, when I reflect on the game and watch it back, and you, and you look at the numbers, there's not masses of difference between the two teams. It's not like we're being completely dominated by teams. Sheffield Wednesday we were, I accept that. But in other games, we're in the game a lot. Um, but it's some of the, the margins and the, the old classic of both boxes, perhaps not committing enough bodies into the box and, and delivering enough balls and, and um, not being ruthless enough to defend. And it's just the small margins at the moment that are going against us. So we can turn that around, but it's um, yeah, it's just important to stick together. Absolutely. And do you think, you, therefore, you are close? You know, it's a matter of time. You, you, you're confident you will get those results going. Yeah, we're not we're, we're not miles and miles away, but we knew this was going to be tough. Like, we're not kidding anybody. We, we've played games against Plymouth, Sheffield Wednesday, Ipswich, Shrewsbury have been a, a, a League One side, seasoned pros in there, experienced. And we, we don't come up and expect us just to roll every team over and, and play exactly how we want to play. It's going to be tough and we've got to to take some hits on, on our way through and be brave enough to take a few hits, ride that and, and just keep trying to get better together. So we'll get there. It's It takes time. We don't just jump in and expect to straight away be at the top end of this league. It's it's very tough, especially with missing players. But, um, we, we yeah, we, we're working all the time to get better. And I guess for those players that do come in, it's, it's learning to adapt quickly and trying to improve as much as you can. You know, you, you talked on Saturday about come, some of the younger lads coming into the defence, for instance. It's it's tough to come in straight away and be right on the ball, but that, that's something you've got to uh, improve on quickly. Yeah, I mean, look, let's be honest, the whole of the pre-season, we work with Dokes, Geordie, Bailey, Dom. Um, you know, those four, as three of those as our, our main back three. And then we've got Dokes... Geordie and Bailey out now so Ollie, Ollie Casey comes in young lad and he's had to step in and really lead that line Christian came in and had to go straight in with one training session so we're demanding a lot um, we've been really unfortunate especially with Geordie and Bailey's injuries um, result of what I think were quite poor challenges against them and that's just a little bit unfortunate that, that both of them now find their way out of the team yeah, and do you know how long Jordan will be out for at the moment, or is it a bit early to say? A bit early to say. Um, so yeah, it won't be available. Won't be available tomorrow. But yeah, we hope maybe at the weekend if he if he recovers during the week. Accrington tomorrow night. I guess the good thing is you 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 quickly into another game, so you've got another opportunity to, to hopefully get that result. And uh, how are you feeling about the game? What are you expecting from Accrington? Difficult game. Obviously, we've prepared for this one once before, and it was rained off. Um, unfortunately, we probably had a lot more players available on the night that it was rained off than what we do now. But that's just life, so we have to deal with that. Um, but at the same time, I think they're, they're as, the same as I said before. They've been very good going forwards. They've scored goals. Uh, they've been a constant threat. They put a lot of bodies, a lot of balls into the box. Physically, they're 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 after every game. Uh, they've been quite open. I'm sure that they they'd say they've been quite open in terms of at the back. So I probably, based on how we've played, uh, envisage quite an open game. Yeah, and, and as you said, obviously the, the original game has rained off after all the, all the rain. So you, I guess there's a game in hand, and we we'll maybe get a better reflection of the table after tomorrow night. Yeah, of course we're 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 a game behind, but we have to make it count. Uh, that's really important. And and after this game, we're evened up, and like you say, the table will be more real then. Great stuff, Ian. That's great. Best of luck tomorrow night. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hello, Ian. You are? Yeah, I'm good. Yourself? I'm not too bad, thank you. Um, I was just going to start on how how did you assess that game against Shrewsbury and how it went, now that you've had time to, to dwell over it a little. It's a strange one because when I, when I watch it back, we have more of the ball, we have more attacks, we have more shots, we have more chances, uh, but we can see two goals and we don't score. So it's frustrating because there are plenty of bits of the game where I think we've done well. 
but at the same time, the, just the key bits. And, and I think it comes down, I suppose some of the players, it's a little bit of belief as well. You know, when you've had a couple of results against you, you kind of don't really believe you're going to score when you go forwards and, and the opposite defensively and you have to kind of come out of that uh, mental state and and um, and be more positive. There's, there's, like I say, there's bits of the games where I thought we do okay, but we've got to take that next step now, a bit braver into the final third, and and certainly be more resolute at the back. And yeah, like you mentioned, the more possession, the more shots on target. Does that at all concern you, or do you think it's a it's a matter of time or a thing? I'd be more concerned if we were getting dominated with the ball and the other team was having loads more shots, loads more chances, and we weren't creating anything. I think we'd be coming off looking at that, going, that's a concern. Um, the fact that we're in control with the ball of a lot of the games and we are creating more chances than the opponents. I don't say we've done that in every game because we certainly didn't against Sheffield Wednesday and Ipswich, but in the other games we've been quite good to create as many chances and have, and have the ball more than the opposition. So I don't think we're being completely outplayed and dominated, um, but we, we certainly have to sharpen up in some areas to make sure that we take advantage of the fact that we have some dominance within the games.